Hey, I found his dog. He was in the street. His name's Ralphie. Come on. So on my way driving to Albies to restock some shirts for them. Uh, yeah, I saw this dog crossing the street over here, this busy street. And I said, uh, I don't think dogs are supposed to cross the street by themselves. So I pulled my car over, like in this alleyway over here, and hopped out. Hopefully my car's still there. I called the number on the tag and found the owner. Um, hey, my car's still here. It just goes to show you, man. Just goes to show you. Um, yeah, if you see uh, somebody's dog, man, just grab it. Don't be scared. I saw people over here on this corner, like hiding in their little office building, like with the door open. And I just walked up to the dog. They were like scared because it looked like kind of like it had like a, a terrier, kind of like a pit bull kind of vibe from far away. And, um, these people in this office building were straight cowards. Like, oh no, don't touch it, don't touch it. You don't know if that dog's me. Like, I'm a human. Why the, why the fuck am I afraid of a little ass dog? And uh, the dog's name was Ralphie. It turns out the dog was nice. And his owner lived around this corner like four houses down. And like, the dog could have got hit, who knows? It just feels good to do shit like that because um, uh, when I was younger, we had this dog named Alex. Alex, R.I.P., uh, lived to be like 18 years old. So, but he always got out. Like, he got out all the time. Like, anytime, like, somebody left the door open a little bit and didn't close it all the way, he would run out. So, I knew how shitty it was to be running all over the place trying to find your dog. And it's like, you don't even find him till like, the next morning or something, thinking he got hit. Um... So I, anytime I see a dog like that with a collar and all that, I try to uh, at least find the owner. I mean, in this area, that happens a lot, so I can't do it for everybody, but that's my good deed. Now I'm probably gonna be late. Uh, as I said before, I'm heading to Albies. Oh yeah, welcome to the video, holy shit. Uh, I'm heading to Albies, as you guys know, they carry Epion Royal. They're like one of the only stores locally that carries Epion Royal. And um, the owner, Mark, he hit me up uh, and he's like, hey, do you have any of these shirts in XL? We sold out. I'm like, yeah, I checked the stock. We had three left. And he's like, all right, I, I'll just bring all three. And, um, you know, he was like, oh, whenever you get time or whatever, if you're in the area, you can bring them. Uh, but he had a customer in the store like yesterday asking for it and that customer couldn't buy it so um me the type of person i am i'm not that close to albies let me remind you i'm like a half hour away me uh yeah i'll say a half hour away um it could be further than that but um uh i would rather go out of my way to take these three shirts keep in mind it's not very much money wholesale that i'm gonna earn from doing this but i would rather take those three shirts to the store and keep them stocked up than to just be like oh i'll, I'll mail them to you and have them take a couple days or like oh yeah whenever i'm in the area i'll come drop some off because this store it's like the biggest in my opinion it's like the most thorough bike store and like less skateboarding store too they sell skateboarding stuff in my opinion they're the most thorough store uh in the area they've taken a chance on us like i think it's sometime last year they started carrying a few of our shirts um and we've just kept contact with them we touch base when stuff sells out we're there instantly like hey, this is the stuff you need to restock, but check out the new stuff. And we always bring new stuff. Uh, we usually give them first crack at anything new other than like it being on our website. But the thing about this is, there are stores 
like smaller stores locally that I feel like could benefit from carrying our brand uh, but they don't carry our brand like not even on consignment they don't want to buy it they don't want to carry it and it's like these stores they don't do tons of business Al Albies does tons of business don't get it twisted but a lot of these other like skate stores like whatever our demographic bike skate lifestyle like these these stores like they could use our help you know like they don't need us but think about it we make videos about the stores that carry our products I'm actively pushing people to those stores we have a fairly large social reach if you combine all the platforms we have a fairly substantial social reach and uh, we go out of our way to like facilitate um, the people that stock our products and it's just funny that Albies took a big risk carrying our product because Epion Royal isn't like a core bike brand. It's not a core skate brand. It's not a core like music inspired brand. It's kind of like a very fluid brand. And a lot of stores, uh, especially when it comes to like action sports, they're not really into carrying stuff uh, that isn't like completely um like supported by that specific action sport community because like let's face it there's people in the bmx community that hate us there's people in the bmx community that love us and a lot of stores they'll be like uh i'm just only carrying bike stuff only bike stuff that's it and they took a big risk on us and uh like so far they've spent a lot of money on our products and um you know we appreciate that but they took the risk so if they buy x amount of product from us and it sells as well as it has been that's awesome that ri that risk paid off for them whereas you have these other stores they like have no interest in carrying us at all uh for whatever reason maybe we don't fit a certain mold or whatever and they're not getting the rewards like they're not getting promoted by us they don't care about their social reach like it's not a, about the community it's about what is what do skaters buy the most that's the only product that i want like these california brands aren't aren't like coming to these stores or like promoting these stores like if they buy some some like i won't even name a brand but if they buy some like big giant brand the brand isn't gonna like post about them and promote them the brand is like hey thanks for the check uh buy some more stuff but yeah, that just goes to show you, man, support other businesses, support local companies and uh, all you local companies out there, like support the stores. Like don't just expect people to buy your stuff, like really be out there, be in the mix. And when they want three t-shirts, bite it and go take the three shirts to them because it's going to benefit you in the long run. Organizing the Epion Royal trailer. I'm gonna be taking this to so many events this year, especially Easter Market. Um, so I gotta like organize it a little better, more effectively, because I'm also taking like way more products to all the events that we'll be doing. So yeah, that's what I'm up to right now. Brand new trailer. It looks beautiful. It's huge. It's got a ton of space. Boss loves it. Hey, boss, look. Hey, stop licking that. Bad dog, man. In the process of moving 
to the new office. Um, shout out to uh, my journeys plug for the boxes and the tape. Spring collection is also selling really well. Look at that. That's literally all the pink Detroit Forever tees we have. That's all the pink imported tees we have. Like all the Detroit Forever camo, that's it. And then all of the imported camo tees. This collection is selling quick. Hey, what do you want? What are you bothering me for, huh? Boss needs my attention at all times. Oh yeah, check it out. If it'll focus. All right, so got the pink dad hats. We got like three left. White, got like three left. Other colors. And this is pretty much how you know the winter's over, beanie stock is like non-existent, nobody's buying beanies right now, shouts out to the United States of America, memory board, let's go, at all these signatures, this is a big, it's a huge canvas that I bought when I got my first office, and whenever people would come out to the office, I would just have them sign it, they could draw something, write the date, write a message, write their name, whatever. Um, and it's like, it hasn't really been signed. Like, most of these signatures are b between 2011 and 2013. And I haven't really, like, asked people that came through to sign it. But I think when we move to the new office, I'm going to get a whole new canvas. And then anybody that comes through, I'm going to have them sign it, write something, draw something. Because I think this is cool. It's definitely pretty awesome to look back on and uh, you know see the people that have supported the brand or just like random people like they used to come through the office or you know reflect on the people that like still hang out with you or still support or even people that have like died you know it's, it's just kind of crazy to have this to look back on and reflect on literally most of these shoes are brand new size 10 all the way to 11 10 10 and a half and 11 there are a ton of shoes in here most of them are new a few of them are worn and a, a, a couple of them are like beat down but like if you are located in metro detroit area and you like shoes skate shoes whatever and you want to get some shoes i'm selling all of these for a hundred dollars or if you want just like one or two pairs they're 20 bucks each if you're interested leave a comment down below i'm not shipping so if you're not from michigan don't ask um <clears throat> yeah but if you're interested leave a comment down below we'll try to link up and yeah i want to get rid of these because i don't want to take them with me a lot of people don't know this, but I used to play in bands for like years and years. I used to play keyboards, bass, basically whatever kind of position I could fill in a band, I would just try to fill that position. And yeah, I haven't seen this thing in a while, but you know, relocating, relocating. I'm at Chuck E. Cheese. T-Mobile gave me a free pizza coupon. Who, who am I to say no to free pizza? I am in Chuck E. Cheese. Sorry, y'all. I didn't want to talk in there because it was loud and there was hella kids. And I was probably the only grown-ass man in Chuck E. Cheese without no kids. But I got what I came for. T-Mobile gave out a free, like, coupon for a, for a little ass pizza. So I'm like, Ugh. I wasn't going to at first. Sit that shit on the floor. I wasn't going to at first. And then I had to come out this area anyway. And I'm like, yo, if I'm driving all the way out here, 
I might as well get the free pizza. Let me show y'all. I waited like 10 minutes for this. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Ooh, ooh. Hey, in the hood, we got the saying. And if you're from the hood, let me know if you guys say the same shit. If it's for free, then it's for me. Hey, I could have went, went to Kroger and bought like a 99 cent microwave pizza. But I got this one for free. Peace. Oh, so you see that bird? Get him, bud. You were making me think I was the same. Playing tricks in my brain. I ain't bring you straight, so I'm on a steady game. In my own lane, and I'm gonna maintain. I'll never be the same. I'm like, sometimes you just need some space. Sometimes you gotta get away. You just wanna hang out with me instead? No, 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 no. Not yet. I have too much. I wanna eat all that I got first. Because I don't wanna waste nothing, you know? today for I forgot what this place was called, but we were trying to go to Tokyo Buffet. Tokyo Buffet is closed because they take 20 day vacations. So me and Capital B over here are getting sushi. And this is just the beginning. Start with sushi, you gotta start light. I don't know where the camera is, I'm looking here. You gotta start light. Start with the sushi and work your way up to the hot food. And the operation eat so much that you can't it up <laughs> is is underway. Mm -mm -mm. So you got the classic right here. This is that 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 Kroger special. The cream cheese. You know the classic. Round two. How was the sushi, bro? Oh, not too bad. Some high points and some low points. Now it's time to get hot with the hot food. Shout out to Pepsi. Cut the check. See of the the egg or <laughs> whatever that shit is. Bro, that shit that's is squid. A that's squid, bro. <laughs> so what's your review of the squid ball, bro? Uh, is it is it from a from a hell nah to a ten? What is it? <laughs> Well, I'm still chewing it, and I put it in my mouth about a minute ago, so I'm going to go with it. Hell no. <laughs> Yo, my review is uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Nando, Illuminando. Shout out to uh, Doug Peters. Sorry y'all couldn't be here today. I'm sorry, bro. This was just the best time for us to go. We are gonna make up for that. We'll have an ERSS lunch outing. I ate too much. Soup game, impeccable. <laughs>